Hey everybody, Tony Gohard here once again for uh, Punks Doing Stuff and today we are getting into the second vi uh, part of the series uh, Part 2, we've already seen part 1, so this is part 2 Don't worry about these obscene hand gestures because we told everybody that it means peace among worlds So, we're going to jump into this one um, First, we have to have our old battle jacket I'm going to take that one off and then uh, measure up like the, uh, the sections Along with the new stuff, we've got our material right here. And then I've also got some other stuff inside my bag. We've got a pencil to mark. And then a marker just in case that doesn't work, which I don't want to use because then it might make a mess. And then I've also got a little bit of uh, measuring tape. So that way I can, you know, measure out the extra part after it's already measured. Because you're going to need to measure out about a quarter to half an inch extra. So that way you can get it uh, the right way. <laughs> <laughs> and remember I said measuring the vest not other stuff you're just gonna be measuring the vest and adding a couple inches or parts of an inch I don't know so we'll figure that out as we go along and uh, yeah we're gonna get into this right now all right and before you take off your uh, jacket to measure it out good thing to do is to make sure that it's buttoned up all the way because you want to have it buttoned up all the way that way it's as taut as it can be of course you don't want to button it up all the way and then try and pull it over your head because that's not going to work leave the top two buttons undone take it off then button them up and then pull the thing inside out so you're just going to pull it off Well, that could have worked out better. I just ripped my jacket even more, which is another sign that I should probably just, you know, get started on this thing. Now it is completely through the part that I've already sewn up. So yeah, take it off, button it up, and then put your arms through the bottom part and flip it inside out like so. Just like that, and then you're gonna get all of the, uh, Try and get it as straight as possible. Let me see. Uh, you can't even really see that. But we're gonna flip it over, and now I'm gonna be doing the back side. You probably can't even see that. Let me turn this thing the right way. All right, I've got it um, straightened out, about as flat as I can get it. And then the, the camera is down really low, so uh, you're just gonna be seeing my hands do stuff. But I've got it down about as flat as I can get it right here. And I'm gonna take the pants and use the top part of the pants where the thigh is. There's not a hem up there, so it should be easier to tell. I'm gonna put it right there and measure it out to these sides up here and then to the left and right side. It's gonna come down here. And I'm gonna drag it all the way down to the bottom. <clears throat> this these uh, material that I have right here, it's not quite big enough to do exactly what I wanted, but it's gonna be, it's just gonna have to do. Uh, this vest that I'm making, after I finish making it, it's gonna be like a couple of inches smaller than the one that I had, which isn't too bad. It'll just be a little bit tighter, but it, you know, it wasn't tight to begin with. So I'm gonna take this thing and see if it'll mark and of course this does not mark let's see actually i'm going to turn this thing around because it looks like this was supposed to be the inside of the pants and the other part was the outside so again i'm going to do that and then yeah it's still not going to mark let me see i had a pen in here i don't know yeah blue pen this may or may not appear yeah it's appearing the lighter the better because you don't want to use anything too heavy because then that's gonna um it could bleed whenever you wash it or whatever so try and use a pen if you can I'm off I'm trying to make this thing straight but it's still coming off a bit so then just mark that side like that And then that tape measure that I had, like I said, you're gonna measure from the line that you just made. You probably can't see it on this thing because it's already getting dark. Again, I'm starting this at sunset 
but we're gonna take that and then yeah about an inch extra of material so you'll just do that and then you'll just drag it this way an inch make a straight line then when you cut it you'll fold it over for the hem so we've got that part then you'll just come down the sides for the center portion for the back and then the other part as well and then because this is gonna have enough extra material I might be able to get one of the side panels done from this part it looks about the same and plus there's already a hem right there so I don't have to worry about sewing that up I'm just gonna have to use an extra thick needle to pierce through okay so I got the center portion measured out already um, you probably can barely even see these lines on here but those are the guidelines that I'm gonna be taking um, <clears throat> like I said I'm just gonna add on a little bit extra like up here you may not be able to see it but there's this is the original line this is the extra and then that's where I'm gonna cut it is the extra part so that way it's on the farthest that the, uh, the cloth can possibly go you're gonna go that way and then cut it there so then that's the part that you're gonna you know fold over like that and then I have the side portion right here and this one I'm gonna make sure that I have plenty of room right over here and there's gonna be enough room definitely with some room to spare like I said, this part's already sewn up because this was from the bottom of the pants. So I'll just be able to trace that and then I'll cut them and fold them over. Okay, so now that I've got this part measured out, this is the side panel where the arm is going to go for the back portion. Now what needs to happen is for like, let's say one of the straight parts, you could just, uh, you know, follow it like that and then just drag the extra that way but for this because it's not straight is if you can manage to do it like that with just tracing it like that then go for it but me I more than likely will not be able to do that so I'm gonna do the next best thing I'm gonna measure out half an inch and actually go three quarters of an inch from here three quarters of an inch from here three quarters here and then so on and so forth till you get all the way down Let's see just keep on going marking and then there we go that's the uh, the armpit I guess and then just kind of connect the dots Just like that. Uh, can't even see it. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, you can kind of see it. Ugh, my hair is in my face. Yeah, I can kind of see it. This, this is the inner line. This is the outer line. You're going to be cutting along the outer line that way. And then we're going to keep on measuring it down. And then doing the same thing. Only that for this part, because it is straight, and you shouldn't have a problem with that just go right here and then you can just trace all the way down if you have like a ruler but because I'm using this thing it's not gonna be as easy I, mean, I guess I could do it with this pencil mark it off like that but like let's see I'll go right there so that way I can make sure that it's good but then again, this table that I'm working on, it's got these little notches, so anything that I do is gonna fall through. But it's all right, because if this part's a little bit longer than, you know, the three quarters that I said, it's just gonna get folded over and put into the seam. So this is gonna be good. Uh, go all the way down. this this should be good then just double check it on the vest make sure that it's right I don't have to add the extra on this one I don't think but I'm gonna double check it anyway this side I measured it and it's all the way to the end so that's gonna get folded over so I'm gonna check that and I'll be back all right so we've got the 
fabric cut this is the back portion um, I probably should have left something on there so that way I could signify which part was the top and which one was the bottom which is a good thing to do but because of the way that it was cut I already know that this top part was the part that I added the extra to so I'm just gonna fold that over like that if you have an iron definitely use an iron because it'll keep the um, the fold down and now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take one of your needles like that let's see just gotten this pack and this is the first time that I'm using these it said pre-threaded yeah and there's not very much thread on there which is a good thing that I got this guy right here a full um, 200 yards which is gonna be more than enough to be able to do this and several other patches that I'm gonna put on there uh, let's see this thing just double it over like that in the tie and not in the end so that way it doesn't come out while you're passing it through the fabric let me move back. like that and there it's doubled over so it'll be twice as strong and then like I said if you have an iron use an iron because that'll make this way easier for this I don't have an iron so what I'm gonna have to do is I'm just gonna have to go through pierce it like that and then every so often just let go take a look at it push it down and then keep on passing the needle through so we're gonna do that and then get this whole top part finished and I'll be right back all right so I finished up doing the this piece that first little bit um, you might not even be able to see it because it's already getting pretty dark out here but the way that I did it was I just passed straight through and did big gaps that's because it's already getting too dark to be able to see so that's all I'm gonna be able to do but what you want to do is you want to be able to put tight sewing through it to be able to hold it together good that will just be able to hold it right now for a guide and then after that part then I'm gonna fold it over this way again these corners are gonna be the thickest part so you're gonna need a thick needle to do that but um I am just gonna to have to get onto that I might um, finish this up and show you guys how to do that once I get back but as for right now it's too dark so um, I'll just do that when I get back all right so we've gotten back home um, we're back here at the room in case you can't tell there's a whole bunch of crap behind me it's just one of the shelves where uh, we keep a lot of stuff so now it's time to get back into the video um, I got everything all set up over here so again it's just gonna be pointed down you're mainly just gonna be seeing my hands um, but we've got our stuff right over here got my uh, piece of fabric that I've already cut got my needles and threads and stuff I've already got a needle and thread uh, put together right over here got it threaded and knotted at the end so that it's just ready to go already and this is the part that I was saying that's gonna be kind of difficult but right here it's okay because it's just like kind of pushing um, four layers of fabric so it's not all that much but then if you take a look right here all along I just kind of creased it with my fingers um, try to give it like a quarter inch maybe half an inch um, that way it's thick and then it won't fray all that bad you're only gonna do it one time over this way and then when you put the other piece on it it's gonna go over like that so that it'll keep the keep them all together and press together good and then this is the part um, it's just the same thing you're just gonna push it hopefully you have a thick needle so that way you can you know push it through with these if you use a thimble or something that'll help too because your fingers will start to get um, pretty sore from pushing you know back and forth and then it's just basically being pinpointed on your finger so you could use like a thimble or um, like a quarter or whatever you have but then I'm just gonna go the same way through this the entire way and then I'm probably just gonna do the same thing like I did with this uh, I just did big gaps just to hold it down and then I'll throw some good sewing through it later just real tight but for this loose just to hold it is fine and then um, I'm gonna go that way this way this way all the way up until it's done and then I'll get started on the next piece but that's all gonna take a really long time so this is gonna be the last bit that I'm going to do for a little bit. Um, 
I'm gonna get all that stuff together and then I'll start showing you how how I was saying you're supposed to layer it over so that way it holds it together snug and tight um, so I'm gonna do that and then I'll also be showing you how to make patches and stud and do all that other good stuff but one thing at a time so I'm gonna get this stuff going and then uh, I gotta start editing this and then on the last video the whole middle section was just blank there wasn't too much important information in there but the fact is that it was blank so um, I updated my video recording and editing stuff so hopefully that'll fix it if not I'm just gonna have to try and get everything done in like one take instead of having to do different ones and layering them over so I'm just gonna have to see how that goes and then I'm gonna have to start watching all of my videos after I upload them to make sure that there's um, audio on there because that is pretty annoying just to be watching a video halfway through is just blank nothing but visual and then at the end you know audio kicking back in so I'm just gonna have to be watching all my videos after I upload them and then uh, checking all that out but anyway um, if you like the video hit the like button share this one to everybody share it share it share it so that everybody can start doing this making your own stuff instead of paying I don't even remember how much it was like 40 or 50 bucks for a vest um, you know like the video share it subscribe if you aren't um, because there's plenty of other stuff that I'm gonna be doing um, cooking videos some skits whenever I get around to writing stuff and then uh, you know just stick around and then I'll see you on the next one